Good morning. It's Friday morning. Look at my bank account. I see there's only a couple hundred dollars left. It's only the fourth. I look at my neighbor. He's got a nice car. A kid. She must be early 30s. She has a tent set up. She might be just doing this for the summer. I, I couldn't see what state the takes were, if it was California or Louisiana, I don't know. But she's doing it. And that's what's really super cool. And I look at my own situation. It's the fourth. I only have like 200 bucks left in my account. I have just a little over $300 invested in cryptos. Um, but I did it. I did it this month. I spent 2000 just on my front end. Once every 100,000 mile thing that I did it at 140. I'm happy. It dries nice and tight like a brand new car. The way I remember it more than a decade ago, but I don't remember the transition from being nice and tight to being all wheel wobbly. <laughs> I feel good about it. I knew it was going to pinch me, but I got through it. I didn't even get through it yet. It's the fourth, but I know I will. And that's what's super cool. I got places I want to go, but it's all going to happen just by kicking back and relaxing as time passes. And I believe I got the cooling system taken care of, finally. The final step was to replace the fan clutch. Went somewhere to some inexperienced person and uh, I kind of messed up the nut. But I went to the right shop and they got it off and replaced it in 40 minutes. <laughs> it was like blew me away. Cool kid. Anyhow, I'm not worried. You know, I, I got into this to keep my van and I knew that there was repairs coming around the corner and I had to make a choice. And that was to get out of the house and keep my van. And it's been a fun ride. It's going to be four years in July. I can't believe that. It's just time flies by so quickly. But in the meantime, I have been able to keep the van and maintain it. And when I do these big ones like this, I got tires around the corner. That's a thousand bucks. Windshield wiper motor went out. That's a hundred bucks. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get that today, but that's okay. It's okay. It's no big deal. <laughs> that's the best part, is that it's okay, and it's no big deal. It's just amazing once you get out of society and the working world and having to provide and deal with all those things versus just being out here and just being, you know? It's a completely different mindset that most people don't understand. I have to leave here today. I've been in the forest for two weeks. Gotta do laundry. That's gonna be a big pain, but we're gonna get through it. And I don't even know where I'm gonna be tonight, but I got a couple cool ideas. Yeah. Something about being free. It's priceless. It really, really is. Priceless. All that matters is having a good a good vehicle it's taken care of. That's all that matters. This girl over here knows it. It's like in the very first couple sentences of conversation. Because I was staring at her car. It looked like my dad's. And I go, that's not a Buick LeSabre, is it? She was proud of what she drove. And she knew it was quality. She understands. She's going to make it. You can see who's going to make it and who's not. She's going to make it. She's got it. She's got what it takes. And I say that because some people come out here and they really don't. You're going to learn fast or you're not going to learn at all. Oh, yeah. 